Welcome to Collecting Chaos. My name is James, and today I had to go to town and get my uh, car registered and inspected, and I promised myself I would not go into the thrift store. That didn't happen. That's right. I lied to myself. I said I wouldn't. I did it anyway. I I was going to go buy it, but something told me I needed to stop. So I stopped and I went inside and uh, I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, the first thing I got is this. It's a funnel mole or something like that. Uh, a fur reel. And uh, I mean... You know me and dinosaurs, I have trouble resisting, uh, and uh, it's mechanical, but I haven't checked it out yet to see if it works. It takes four AA batteries. I think I have them. I'm not sure. I'll check it a little bit later. Uh, if it doesn't work, it'll go on my shelf back there for as just a fun thing to have, and if it does work, maybe I'll offer it up for sale. haven't decided yet because it is just too cute. I couldn't pass it up. That and on eBay, they go for 17 to $20. And then I went over and started looking at smaller toys. Now, I started out looking at the books, but I didn't see anything that I was interested in or that piqued my interest or that I thought I might be able to sell. Uh, so I probably passed up a lot of stuff I should have bought. And uh, the first thing out of this little bag that I have here... Uh, is this blip box whatever and what's in it it's got a little figure a monkey monkeys are always good and a frog now how can you pass up a frog right so that was the first thing that was in that little bag. Not the reason I bought it, though. And there was this fire truck. Also, not the reason I bought the bag, but, you know, it's kind of co cool. Looking ladder. And uh, the ladder does extend. So it's in pretty nice shape. And then I got, uh, yeah, everybody needs an ambulance. Uh, I might have to keep this, and then whenever anybody complains on uh, in a live stream, pull it out and go, <laughs> the ambulance, <laughs> uh, and then uh, a police car. So what I'll probably do actually is lock these three together and uh, sell them as a set for I, a couple of bucks. I don't care. And then the reason I bought this bag. It's this PVC figure of the Hulk. It's a large PVC figure, but it is in the position, the same position as uh, shown on uh, Hulk 181. And that's why I bought it, because I thought that was cool. And then there was a, a PVC Iron Man, or a rubberized Iron Man. Uh, it's got a little bit of wear, but overall, not a bad looking little figure. Some sort of transformer thingy. Uh, I, I can never sell these. I try and they just sit forever. Uh, looks like a marmoset. Little dinosaur, pterosaur, a, this is a, I can't tell, is it a Hot Wheel or a Matchbox? Made in Taiwan, Mattel, Aston Martin. 
It doesn't say if it's Matchbox or Hot Wheel, but it is an Aston Martin, you know, 007 type of thing. So that was cool. And then a few things that I'm probably just going to toss. If they go to one, the toy shotgun that I don't have. That was what was in that first uh, bag. Uh, and like I said, the main reason I bought it was I saw the whole figure, realized what the pose was, and decided, well, I have to have that. So that was a... That was the first thing I got. And then I saw this, and you know, dinosaur, me, dinosaur. I had to buy it. Uh, this is a soft uh, plastic, kind of like my dragon there, and uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, Tyrannosaurus 2011 made in China. 2112. So, yeah. It's actually really big. But very cool. Let's stick him up there where nobody can see him. And, you know, that, like I said, dinosaur, me. This is Stegosaurus, of course. Pretty cool looking. Uh, like that. And this one, and I think this one might actually be a Jurassic Park figure, but I'm not sure. Doesn't really say. Might not be, but it, it the legs move, and that's cool. So. You know, I like dinosaurs. <laughs> Which brings me to my next bag that I bought. Uh, these are... Uh, I saw a bunch of Legos in here, and that's always a good thing to get, even if I'm not going to... You know, I'll throw them in a bag, and when I have enough, I'll offer them up for sale. But... I mean, you can never have too many, many Apatosauruses, right? And then this one is so big, he's sticking out of the bag. His tail is sticking out of the bag. But uh, yeah, I like that one, too. Um, this figure is broken, so we're just going to toss that, probably. I had another one of these. I've got two of these now. I believe they are uh, Super Mario figures. Another Stegosaurus. Like I said, me and my dinosaurs. What can I say? And uh, a well-loved T-Rex. And a green one. I don't think this is a Rex, though. And the rest of it is mostly Lego stuff. So, yeah. Probably just lock that up and offer it for whatever it'll go for. Start the bidding at like 99 cents and let it sell for what it sells for. I'm not putting all these dinosaurs back in there.
and I thought I was done, and I would have been, but then I saw this bag. This bag cost me two dollars. And what it is, it's dollhouse figures. And I do pretty well with these uh, when I put them singly, but these I'm not going to put singly. I'm going to lock these up. You know, I've sold this figure half a dozen times for about $10. But I figure, you know, uh, you lot them up, and if you put the right price on them, they'll go quick. Uh, these are these are actually actually bendable figures, but they're still dollhouse figures, so that's a good thing. A few of them have clothes, most of them don't. This is another figure that sells really well for me. Uh, wow! This whole this whole series, this whole line does well for me. So I'll probably offer those singly, and the rest of them I'm just going to uh, lot up and uh, you know, put a decent uh, price on it to where people will buy them. You know, four or five figures in ten, fifteen dollars, and they'll sell pretty quick. And I'll make a lot of money off this one little bag. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Uh, but I should do okay with this. There's a couple more of those uh, figures that sell really well for me. When I took this up to the counter, the the girls that worked the counter couldn't believe the price that it, that was on it. Apparently, I got a little Christmas tree also. So when I saw that, I knew I was through. There was no question that I that I wasn't going to be buying anything else. Uh, but of course, we all know that's a lie. Because <laughs> I'm reaching down here for more stuff. Uh, when I saw this, I thought, yeah, how can I pass that up? Especially considering it was right next to this. Uh, the boxes are. A little worse for wear, but still, I mean, yeah, I decided to go with it. Uh, I didn't look them up. I probably should have. I just went off gut instinct on these. Uh, my gut rarely is. It doesn't, doesn't do me wrong very often, and if they're not worth much, I will uh, I know some people that would love to have it. there you go that's what I picked up at the thrift store I don't know why I shouldn't have gone I spent about $40 uh, but hey it's too cool and I'm going to see if I can get that to work so uh, let's see if we can get this to do something. I'm going to have to tilt the camera down, and he's making noise already. Oh, I'll have to tilt the camera way down. There we go. <laughs> it's cute.
go to my other hand and see if I can get him to do something. Yeah, now he's going to be, be ornery and not do anything. Sounds like he coughed. <laughs> yeah. I think. So there you go. Uh, I should. I should put this online and try to sell it, but. He's really, he's a cute little guy, and I kind of want to keep him. <laughs> we'll see what I do. Uh, I don't know. I know one thing. If I can't get at least 20 for him, I'm not selling him. Right? $20? You think $20 is good? Put your finger, If I put the finger to mouth and I touch the tongue... It's got a little, it's got a little button there, and he's got some other things that make him. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a great little toy. Uh, that's going to be it for this uh, episode. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. hope you had fun watching it. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that neat YouTube stuff that you're supposed to do. And uh, some of this stuff, you know, I might offer some of it on Friday. I haven't decided yet. I did pick up some more comics. Don't have a lot to sell from that the latest batch. Uh, most of it is ending up going in my collection because it's stuff that I don't have. Imagine that. Things I don't have. So, yeah, like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and we'll see you on Friday. <laughs> Bye.